What up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is KA Music Academy. I hope you guys are good. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash the subscribe button and smash the post notification bell. Alright, I know you're wondering why I'm still wearing the same hoodie. Guys, I shot this, uh, I shot this video the same day as I shot the, the Davido one. So in charge me. This is the only time I have to shoot these videos with you guys. Right? Without further ado, today's lesson, today's second lesson will be, uh, Love Me JJ by Ten. I know you guys know the song, it's a new song, it just came out now. So I just thought you guys would like to learn how to play the song, all right? It's a focal progression. Let's get straight to the video and see what we can do. All right, guys, uh, this lesson is going to be a quick one just to make sure you guys learn the song because I see it's a new song. So I don't want to take your time explaining. But if you watch the video and you want me to explain better or further, you can comment and let me know, then I'll do that. All right, so it's a focal progression. Our first chord is our A sharp minor, or you can say your B flat minor, right? So A sharp minor, and then your B, B major, then your C sharp major, then your D sharp minor, right? So I'm gonna have all these chords around somewhere here. You could be, you'll be able to read and see what chords I'm playing. All right, so let's do it again. Our first chord is A, a uh, our A uh, A sharp minor, then your B major, C sharp major. D sharp minor. So it goes. So it just it's just the loop of the four chord progression non-stop, non-stop. Alright, so this is the chords. Now let's go to the part where I teach you how to play the strumming pattern and then we'll play everything together at the same time. Because I don't want this video to be long for you guys. I know you're excited to learn the song. So let's just go straight to it. All right, so this part now I'm gonna teach you the finger picking technique. We've learned the chords which are A sharp minor, B major, C sharp minor, our D sharp minor. All right, so now how we play with the finger picking technique, all right? We're gonna pick with our for our A sharp minor. We're gonna pick from sixth string going to the fourth. So like that. See what I did there? So your A sharp minor and your B major is the same thing. You play the same way. So right. Let's do that again. One more time. Last one, and then the next part will be our from our D about from our C sharp major to our D sharp minor, and then this one would be from our finger pick from our fifth string. So five, four, three, two. Same thing. So this one would be again. One more time. And that's the chord, uh, that's how you strum. So I'm gonna try to play everything and then you hear what it sounds like. So one, two, three, go. Right? You can hear it. So the only difference is for your normal bar chords from the six, you play your six, five, four, six, five, four. And then your C sharp, you play five, four, three, two, five, four, five, four, three, two for your D sharp minor. Okay, let me do it one more time. One more time. All right, that's your finger picking technique. And then your strumming pattern would be one. So the strumming pattern would be. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is a basic strumming pattern that I use for all four over four, or two over four time signature songs. All right. So I'm, I'm sure you guys should know this. If not, just take your time and learn with me. One, two, three, go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. So you practice the strumming pattern over and over again until you get it properly 
And when you do get it, when you play with the chords, it should sound like this. I'm on your waist, <laughs> Right? Let's do one more time. I'm on your waist, man. Or you can go. Depending on which one you prefer. I know for me, I prefer this finger picking technique. Of course, if it's like the chorus part where all the instruments are playing and then you can just like just to give it more energy but when you're starting the song you don't need to strum so heavy you can just pick you know it's a nice way to start a song right all right and that's the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this video was really helpful if it was don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you want me to explain more and give you like an in-depth lesson on this song, then comment down below and I'll get straight to it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.